If you're a man, you don't cry about it. You take life, the ups and downs. If you're a real man, you never go down, you just stay up. That's why this sport coat costs $800 and that costs $200. And I don't know what that costs, I'd be ashamed to wear it. That's why I'm wearing lizard shoes and a Rolex watch. Important it, snorting it, any competition extorting it. Anything I want, affording it. Got enough crack to get four to hit. Turn a saint to a sinner, lose to a winner. Whether old school or a beginner, my shit's the best. Rick's the best. Have your heart beating right out your chest. That Rick Flair like. Woo! That Rick Flair like. Woo! This is all I do. I got that Rick Flair like. Woo! Woo! Styling, profiling. That Ricky Mickey girl go. Woo! So I wear it. It's the team in Modesto, California. Yeah. They're um, a baseball team, single A, and one of my suppliers is their sponsors. So I, I have a few of their jerseys. Neil, I, I, I'm going to need you to remember today to put the mic up to your mouth when okay. you talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's difficult because he has no chin to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice to Neil. Oh, yes. Uh, he, he's all a very successful I'm author. I'm here to laugh with he's you guys. Yeah. <laughs> no, yes. You were saying uh, one of your main suppliers. Yeah, they're a sponsor of the oh. Modesto Nuts. And uh, so they took me to a game when I was visiting them in California, and I bought the jersey. And so for the last year, every show I've gone out to do stand-up comedy, I've been wearing my Modesto Nuts shirt. Yeah, yeah. What are they supplying you with? Um, almonds. Okay. Yeah. Are you That's a type of nut. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're in the big nut He's industry? That's I'm a wholesaler of dried fruits and nuts. I import and wholesale dried fruits and nuts. Why are you laughing at me? Because I thought it was a cum <laughs> joke, but I'm just a piece of shit. Yeah. And you're, this is your business. You know, it's how I make a living and man. I pay my porn bill. And he's an yeah. author. Yeah. All right, welcome to Goblin Ogre. <laughs> Today we have on Artemis and Neil the Nutman yeah. returning, fan favorite. <laughs> fan favorite? <laughs> uh, since, since we last saw Neil, he became a very accomplished author. Uh, he, uh, he has this book. Uh, it's called A Comedic <laughs> Look. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. You didn't fucking bother to memorize the title. Look yeah. at the size <laughs> of this title. No, it's just Nutman. Just Nutman. It's just Nutman. All right. It's called Nutman. Are you suggesting I, the title is longer than the book? <laughs> <laughs> he told I'm like, Neil, how, how many copies have you sold of this? He said four. So this is the world, like, the most successful selling pamphlet of all time. <laughs> I mean, that's more fans than you have. So um, that's, absolutely. <laughs> that's pretty good. They have a pretty big family. Uh, and they're all so-called fans. <laughs> that's true. If you just sold to your family, you yeah. sell more books. Oh, we sell arenas. <laughs> May I ask a question? Yes, sir. Do you guys have plans to watch the Leafs game tonight? I don't. Um, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And you? I didn't even know there was a Leafs game. Okay. I'm not like sporty <laughs> lesbian. I'm already lesbian. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know that that was happening. Oh, that's why you look so gross. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got hit on like this. You do? Yeah. I, I was in a park uh, and a guy came up to me and started hitting on me. And I was like, if you're hitting on me when I look like this, you are gay. Yeah. Like, there's you're a complete what garbage. The fuck? Well, well, what, what did, what did what this gentleman look like? He was a black guy. He was from Africa. That's how he led. They he started hey, they off. Hit on they don't believe yeah, yeah, in yeah. lesbians technically. That's so that's point, actually, yeah. <laughs> you know, you could be put in jail for being a lesbian in Africa. It's true. Maybe that's this was like the long con. He was trying to get me in jail. Africa. Right Africa's right a whole up. continent. It yeah, depends on which country. I know. I I, yeah. I realize my family's from Africa. Yeah. Oh, you're you're one of those brown I'm, Africans. We're from Uganda. Yeah. Oh, I thought you guys got all got kicked out. Yeah, that exactly. I can but see we why. Were in <laughs> <laughs> we were in Uganda, we both like and his then nuts. Mm. the the Indians in Uganda yeah. were 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 expelled. expelled. Yeah, and so my family came to Canada. Oh, there was okay. Indians in Uganda? When did yeah, this yeah, happen? Yeah, yeah. You ever heard of in there's Indians Amin? everywhere? That's unfortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> see, you ever heard of Idi Amin? He was like that African oh, dictator. Yeah. They did that movie, Last King of Scotland. Okay, that one of his things was, uh, "Hey, Indians, get the fuck out of our country." Yeah. Yeah. I'm call. so impressed <laughs> that you know this, eh? It's not really common knowledge. It's 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 kind a good of, movie. It was a long time ago, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was common knowledge back with older people. But it's not common knowledge amongst our generation. I don't think. Yeah, that's but fair. But it was a good movie. India, Uganda, they were all British colonies, so they took the Indians from India and put them in Uganda to work, 
And so it was cheaper than sending British there. So that's where we started. You know, there's a lot of Indians. The TTC. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't they even know. They left Uganda and they're like, where are we going to go? <laughs> <laughs> we will Does go the to TTC. TTC. Run to Uganda? <laughs> What's that? Does the TTC run to Uganda? Uh, I mean, I, it should, I hope, <laughs> one day, so that they can all go back. I've been to Uganda. They don't have, uh, they don't have a subway there. It's, uh, well, no, like they also Indian don't have floors there, so it might complicate the whole construction of a, po- of a like yeah. the, the floors are made from dirt. They also don't have u- deodorant. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How do uh, uh, Ugandans treat Indians in uh, in Uganda now? Oh, they love us. Oh yeah, <laughs> because they see us coming. <laughs> the back. Old ones. We miss you. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you. Miss you. Miss we you. Need you your foreign tourist you. dollars. Uh, oh, so they treat you as a tourist, not like oh you're an Indian returning. No, well, they They're see. like oh, the spend longer money. we can keep them here, the longer we can keep them spending money. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's about money. That's it's, fair. It's kind of cool because there's a lot of wildlife. People go to see the Serengeti and stuff. Stuff. Yeah. The Indians. Yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of disappointing <laughs> when you wake up at four in the morning to go look for wildlife and you don't see anything. That's a big disappointment. Yeah, of course. If you paid you paid to do one of those safari things. Yeah, yeah. But you go a few days, so not every day is a disappointment. Like one day you might see something, the next day you don't, or you know. Are you the same type of Indian as a nutman? No. no. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Technically, uh my Guyana, they come from a certain parts of India, so I don't know what. Do you know what parts of India your family comes I from do, originally? Yeah, Gujarat. No, no. So yeah, no. I don't think there's many Gujarat in Guyana. Though. No, 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 no. They're most 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 Guyanese are northern Indians, that Uttar Pradesh area or whatever. All those like, <laughs> at least like I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. No, I like how the back just says. Uh, Nutman is the story of an entrepreneur who took up stand-up comedy. <laughs> when business slowed down in the post-COVID <laughs> economy, I like that this is a story. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I was just thinking. I was like, you probably could have waited till more happened in your life. <laughs> <laughs> like more has There's been written in one of those church, in, <laughs> in one of those church brochures. <laughs> more has been written Look, than in that fucking he, book. He could be fucking Nelson Mandela, but he waited till he was 19 and wrote a book about yeah. his life. Is it a picture book? And <laughs> 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 you think you pop up? <laughs> <laughs> There's different nuts. I, I this is an almond. Yeah. This is it? a Brazil I nut. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's him. All right, this is Neil the nut man wearing oh, yeah, the, yeah. Borat the Borat. The Borat thing. The Borat yeah, yeah, yeah. bathing Are you really suit. Really a lesbian? Uh, no. Well, I after she's seen this, she is. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. yeah. Look at oh, that shit. Dude. <laughs> it's my friend David. He's very Holy handsome. Holy shit. He? He's not your friend. But his <laughs> name is David. <laughs> Anyone he pointed to in the book and yeah. said, my friend, yeah. he's not your friend. No, no, he likes you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Lie. I haven't read the book, but I saw you open it, and the f- only word I saw was penis, and it was underlined. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Sure, was because it peanuts? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I go to the doctor. I'm like, doctor, can you make my penis the size of Tommy Lee's? Mm. He's like, sorry, Neil, I can't make your penis any smaller. <laughs> you get it? It's big. It's huge. <laughs> That's a very, very dated reference. Yeah. That. If, if you were to describe your penis in a nut, what kind yeah, of what nut? Yeah, what kind of nut is your dick? Yeah. I gotta tell you, I'm hung like a horse. That's not a nut, silly. That's not a I know he doesn't that's even not know nuts. nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sells nuts. Yeah. We go, what's a nut? And he goes, like a horse. Right. <laughs> Dude, I'm a not. A horse is a I'm nut. Not, I mean, I'm like not. a Brazil nut is a big nut. What are you. A walnut? What's, what kind of nut is What you is get your to, favorite kind of nut, Artemis? Uh, the one that goes in my mouth. <laughs> oh! <laughs> now, I'm partial to almonds. Almonds. <laughs> I like right. an almond. Tell me. Have you had many men's nuts in your mouth? <laughs> um, there's been the odd occasion. This is going once in a while. You, you don't want it to Am go I, in this I direction. Like I'm being interviewed <laughs> for your wife or something. <laughs> You're gonna get messaged to watch the hockey game tonight, <laughs> like in yeah. ten minutes. You'll sit on your phone. Do I get free nuts? <laughs> Oh, oh, speaking oh, of free nuts yeah. and facial uh, cream, I, we have a we have a ad read. We have a sponsor today. <laughs> okay, uh, today's podcast is brought to you by Kalamata Olives, the number one retailer of nuts in the GTA and all of Canada. The best nuts you'll find, best mm. wholesale retailer. Yeah. they also sell dried fruit and nuts. So if you're gonna get your nuts, Kalamata Olives. Yeah, they, sell they, nuts. Ma- they make Neil look like a pile <laughs> of shit. <laughs> Dude, I'm a legend in the nut business. I'm well known. You don't realize you're sitting next to a nut business royalty. Here. Yes. Nut business no, we know royalty. That. We're aware. We did our research. 
We <laughs> yeah, yeah, we <laughs> we didn't read the book, but we. Yeah. Read <laughs> I read the. I read all three pages. <laughs> we looked you up on. I Ask skimmed Jeeps. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you get? How does one get into the uh, the nut business? My family was in it. My father. Was oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's nepotism. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big deal because <laughs> so it's, it's nut nepotism. <laughs> my <laughs> father's like <laughs> you. son. Somebody shoot me. <laughs> you ruined my fa- our family name. Like, Dad, you're a fucking peanut salesman. Yeah. There's something honorable, though, in, like, being any type of, like, like hand-me-down family like business-y thing. Taking care of the family yeah, business. Yeah, like, because most people don't want to. Yeah. Like, like hey, like, this is all going to be yours. So now he's and most people are going to be like, dad. no, I don't want that. You know what? Neil family? took it on. Well, well you have to. You alcoholism. Have to <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lee is a generational <laughs> piece of shit. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So he's Carried carrying. His yeah, legs. yeah. Oh, the Fernandez is. Yeah. <laughs> what pieces of shit? Thank you, thank you. Yeah. My yeah. grandfather got into fights with several truck drivers. <laughs> <laughs> My dad went to jail and got into fights with several neighbors. <laughs> and I'm doing stand-up comedy yeah. and a podcast. <laughs> we suck. <laughs> <laughs> You're the least impressive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so your name is. Your dad Ar- doesn't even Amadeus? go to jail. It's Artemis. Uh, uh, no, it's Artemis. Artemis. <laughs> It's so what kind of name is that? Uh, it's an ancient Greek name. It's uh, my uh, parents are hippies. This is how I got it. You so Greek? you're not Greek? No, I okay. grew up here actually. Like I grew up down the street. Well, you could have been Greek. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. This is I a Greek have the curly hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, I'm Scottish and Jewish, so like very not Greek. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But I think they were like Ikshne on the Jewe. We'll give her a Greek name. He's Palestinian. I'm oh, nice. Palestinian. <laughs> yeah, I would believe that. <laughs> he's so <laughs> mad. He got so disgusted. Yeah. He's like, he did, the ick, he did the ick shoulder yeah. movement. Like, no, I don't want to be involved in any conflicts, you know? Like, I don't think you're involved just because you are Palestinian. <laughs> 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 yeah. like you're born a problem. Yeah. That would There's be a lot of conflicts, you know? I didn't. Uh, I don't want to be involved in that. We're Hindu. We just, we won't even hurt a cow. Mm. That's you know what that's not even true. In, uh, Hindus have taken a side. They're they sided with Israelis. Really? The Hindus yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. There's a whole, there's a whole explanation. They went with the the least brown of the two options. That's yeah, fucked up. yeah. But they don't like. Uh, no, okay. I, I don't want to speak for all Hindus. <laughs> yes, some, please speak for some, all Hindus now. You got one some sponsorship, Hindus. and now you're like, all right. I have <laughs> yeah, to be yeah. correct. Some Hindus do not like Muslims, so they right. they just root anti-Muslim. Anyone who's okay. fighting uh, Muslim, you know, people, they're like, yeah, we're with them. I didn't real. I I didn't know about the Arab Jew beef. I, I, I'm not. I sw- You're not I, the best Jew. <laughs> it was what? You're not the best no, Jew. No, I'm not the. Be- I didn't even know until I was 18. I had like. They were Jewish. Yeah, because I'm we're German Jewish. Dude, uh, so my the words, was like, mm, the words <laughs> Arab Jew beef made my mouth salivate. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds delicious. That's good stuff. <laughs> I want some Arab Jew beef. Yeah. You love hate. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> But he got all the flavors. Wait, wait, tell us, sir. You're you're 18. Yeah. So my it was fun. Like we grew up very culturally Jewish. Like my mom has like big black curly hair and was very like everything that the Jewish kids knew we knew and stuff. And like I didn't watch cartoons. I just watched Seinfeld. So it was like very Jewish. Sure, but you just Uh, thought because you like these things. Well, the story that my mom told me was very funny. Was she like lived in Wisconsin for a while and she was like, no, we just pretended to be Jewish. (laughs) I was like, no one's ever done that in the history of Jews. But a cousin came by and was like, yeah, dude, we did the ancestry test. We're, we're snipped. We're Jews. So how how Jewish up. are you? Thank uh, you? I don't know. Well, we're Jewish enough that when the stuff was happening in Germany, we were like, we got to get the fuck out. <laughs> You're so that's pretty, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's <What> something. <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, it's a holocaust. A oh, I don't good believe thing. That. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel about the Jews, Neil? I think the Jews are a hard-working bunch. They have yeah. good values. Yeah. But you know, they should be more kinder to people like me. Yeah. Like they they tend to be a little cold yeah, to me. Palestinians, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm Hindu. <laughs> no. But you know, I, I respect that they're hard-working. They have good values and so forth. You what know? do you mean cold? Did a Jewish girl not blow you? And you're like, they're cold yeah. to me. They're you, mean. You, you into Jews? You look like you're into Jewish girls. Yeah. Like. Like visually, dude, I'm into all girls. <laughs> dude, you know those little pop up. You should follow this person, and it's clearly a fake account. Yeah, yeah. I clicked on one. Only Neil follows those girls. <laughs> <laughs> Neil's the connector. Neil follows all of every scammer. Yeah. Sends a request. <laughs> if someone sends me a request, I'm not gonna be rude and block them. And just block yeah. them. <laughs> 
How rude. How many of them say, hi, handsome? Yeah. Like, in your DMs? I do get those <laughs> messages, but I don't respond. You don't? I know. Oh, okay, if okay. A, some g- g- gorgeous girl messages me, hi, handsome, yeah. I know, don't bother responding. <laughs> it's, just, it's too good to be true. I respond, <laughs> but I keep saying a lot of racial slurs and that my dad was gay and I had to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should and tell I, some lies, too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fun to fuck with those people, like to troll anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever trolled anybody, like uh, deliberately? I think I did once, but the most recent one, I, I my girl took my phone and trolled oh, him. Yeah? And you know what? It was funny. Is I should have known it, <laughs> it was a scam. Is because they tried to convince me to do a corporate gig. Oh, they atta- like they went after you for the comedy. For comedy, they were and like, and "Oh, we have some scammy shit." Yeah, it was like at first it was like, "Oh, we were looking." When and I was like, "Why would they know me?" But I was like, "Whatever, maybe they <laughs> saw something. I don't know." <laughs> and then just the more as it went on, it sounded so great that I was like, "Oh, this is fake." <laughs> hey, yeah, am I fake. allowed to order a beer? Do you guys want a beer? I love a beer, Neil. I have That'd a drink coming, fantastic. but thank you. Yeah. So I can order like she's coming by, or yeah, just snap your fingers. I think she's bringing my drink, so you I'm can go get done. one or you can wait. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go get a drink. You want a drink too? Yes, sir. What do you want? One of these. All right, I'll order one of those for myself. What is that? It, it's a, a pap smear blue ribbon. <laughs> oh, the Jew gets no drink. <laughs> <laughs> I know he did ask you, yeah, 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 and yeah, then he never asked like, you no. what you want. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, wait, he he's giving you a roof. He's, yeah, <laughs> he's like, I already know what she wants. That's a good point. He's like, I got it's a special drink. It's very fizzy. Don't worry. About it. It's well, just bubbling. Yeah. By the way, while he's away, you should be concerned because Neil is known for uh, messaging. Raping. Mo- <laughs> <laughs> he messages a lot of women. Any any relation yes. to comedy, he yes. messages oh, you and yes. like. So he messaged. Uh, I think your girl my at ex, the time. Yeah. Uh, my girl. Uh, many others. <laughs> He's the man. Several That's others. So funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That rules. Yeah. No, I'm ready for that. I'm ready for Neil. Thank you. Who was that? Uh, gin and soda because I'm uh, becoming a healthy boy. Yeah. Thanks. Mm. I want to ask Artemis like what her overall experience was like at the Royal. Because that's how <laughs> I know Artemis. Uh, I met her at the Royal, a now defunct, just gone to the ground business. I'm hearing rumors. Oh, yeah? I'm hearing rumors. Yeah. I want to hear the later. rumors later. Yeah, t- yeah, after she... I just want to know, because w- when I saw Artemis, she just looked like a cunt. Like, when <laughs> yeah. I walked up. She just looked... She had a cunty vibe. And I get it. Her skin is white. Yeah, I get yeah. it. Well, and her w- blood is Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> That was uh, why I initially Thank liked you. you and was like, oh, I'll be friends with this person. He looks like he doesn't like me. Yeah. That uh. was it. He immediately was like, hey, you piece of shit. And I was like, oh, <laughs> nice. Like, this is great. This makes me think of home, you know? Well, I remember uh, I ordered a beer off her and she just pointed at the fridge like for me to go get it. <laughs> oh, she was <laughs> like, I can well, go get I, it? Yeah, He's yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I think like, I got right. you in trouble too for that. Yeah, because <laughs> then uh, Matt, the owner, saw the footage and thought I just stole a beer. <laughs> oh, no, it was your piece of shit bartender yeah. who just told well, me to I grab mean, it. Well, you were a regular. Hey, so you guys like, ever perform at Yuck Yucks? Yeah. You do, eh? Uh, thank you. <laughs> do you have a follow-up question? <laughs> like, do you do your show at Yuck Yucks? No. No, no, no. no, no they but don't, I they don't there a few times. That's too bad. Like... I think a show like this would be very cool at Yuck Yuck. I fucking once got heckled, and I didn't know who the heckler was, and I made fun of him, <laughs> called him gay. It's it Mark Breslin. Mark Breslin. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't know who that man was. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> and then I've seen him a few times after, and he's, he just looks away. <laughs> oh, really? God yeah. Damn. That's what I do like that Neil came back and was like, a woman is talking. This cannot be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we I'm going to put a stop to this right now. <laughs> this is done. <laughs> no, Thank but with you, the original Neil. question, mm-hmm. uh, how did you feel about the Royal and its right. time? Actually, I do miss it. It did rule. Like, it was, it was fucked. It was a crazy place to work. Like, you guys would just come and party there. Yeah. I worked there. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I, I actually, I'm a terrible employee. Like, I've been fired six times, yeah. I think, maybe more. So it was great for me because I just I would come in like an hour late. So it'd be I fine. would serve shit and yeah, then yeah. yeah, and I had my tits out so people would tip me, which is great. <laughs> Good that tactic. That was nice. Yeah. What was Do always you like? Me? No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's a fair question. He's very memorable. Just. Visually, if you like weren't around that much, yeah. Her, yeah so. I don't think oh, we okay. met actually. Maybe yeah. We didn't meet, so. Yeah, yeah, but still, you're you, you know you have a you have a certain look to you. I know, yeah. Indian Danny DeVito. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but still, the not Danny even DeVito not even in a bad way. Dash. But a lot of uh, a lot of comics kind of look the same to me. So at least you looked at, especially the brown comics. They all look the same. They do yeah. all look the same. Yeah. yeah. 
was yeah, in, you seen him. Uh, I was in Montreal. I did a show with a guy. He's three feet feet tall. It made me feel so proud. I was so tall. Dude, I love walking by dudes I'm, I'm taller than. <laughs> so yeah, do it's I. It's so fun. But it yeah. very rarely happens. Of course. You come by and anybody who's taller than me that walks by, <laughs> I've had thoughts. Like, I could still kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do know why that goes through I my brain. Smoke? What's that? Do you mind if I take a smoke? I don't think you can no. smoke on patios, dog. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Ay, ay, ay. I don't they think that's been a thing that. since like the 60s. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. No, that's I'm from out of town. I don't know. I like this yet. so much because uh, it's like Jews versus the Palestinians. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we put them right next to each other. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that. What's your last name? Are you like Shapiro or no, no? Uh, we have Golden? a no, we have a German last name because it's from my granddad, who's not actually related to us. So I'm sort of yeah. question if you're even really Jewish. Yeah, yeah. No, me too. If I'm not, it's a real problem because then I'm just anti-Semitic. So make it a long <laughs> time. You know, there's um, there's uh. A a a a a organization <laughs> that will trace your DNA. <laughs> They're going to say an anti-Semitic organization. Are you? T- are, he's explaining Nazis. I yeah, think yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's no, like, there's an organization <laughs> that will tell you if you're Jewish. I'm explaining yeah. the money making. <laughs> They'll scam. go f- visit people from your town yeah, in yeah, Germany, yeah, yeah. ask them where you are. <laughs> they'll confirm. <laughs> no, they'll trace your DNA. They'll put you on a train, tribal. free train tickets. <laughs> And then you'll go to a summer camp. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need to trace your DNA to determine if you're Jewish? Can't you just look at your wee wee? I think it's all That's bullshit. That's what I tried. It yeah. didn't work. <laughs> no clit. Oh, yeah, I just no, heard it I here. Got, I am circumcised. I got no clit. No you clit know, I heard like chicks that have big clits. Yeah. It's like if they're born men, they, that means you would have had a big had a dick. big schlong. Yeah. Yeah, so if it was a small little hot song. clit, that means you would have been born with a tiny little dick. Tiny dick. Yeah, so <laughs> you bitches have no say <laughs> in any guy's dick size. I'm just you fucking tiny you know cock horse. <laughs> <laughs> you should, you, that's what you should start calling them. You little you dick bitch. Clit. You little dick bitch. <laughs> she what, what, oh, look at this little tiny clit. <laughs> How cute. What? She goes, whatever, you have a small dick anyway. <laughs> yeah, but you would have. Yeah, I put it in. You oh, would. I can't even feel it. <laughs> <laughs> what woman with a beefy pussy that's insecure about that are you dating that you're like that's what that means no I Small just heard it girls are gross I like fat clits though. yeah or Lee's just gay he's like that's you know true. you have a big clit <laughs> this means you would have had a big penis and I like that and I'm just choking on it <laughs> yeah <laughs> <Just> choking <laughs> on her clit <laughs> you're deep throating her giant clit <laughs> 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 hello folks <laughs> A sweet old couple yeah, walked by. He was smiling. He was remembered doing that to his wife. He was like, <laughs> in the good old days. Yeah, she wasn't smiling at all, so <laughs> she she remembers too. Were Were you happy when you found out you were Jewish? Part it Jewish? made sense. It made sense. I was like, this totally checks. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, I'll, I dated like sense. all. Yeah. Like, how, what okay. What part of it made sense? We grew up like super culturally Jewish. I dated like all Jewish guys. My friends were mostly Jewish. Like I just Where'd you I go to high inside. Did you go to Chad? I went to a uh, <laughs> Rosedale. It's like up there. It's an art yeah, school. That also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say anyone who's anyone in the Jewish community goes to Chad, but Rosedale's also. No, good. we weren't like fancy. We're poor Jews. No, we're Rosedale. Bad, yeah. <laughs> Rosedale. We're poor Jews. We only had like one, two million. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We only <laughs> live in Rosedale, the bridal path. <laughs> we were know. trash we Jews. We own one had business. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor Jews. We only live in Rosedale. It's the banks, but. <laughs> <laughs> We own Meridian Bank. <laughs> we own, Mar- we own, own one bank. business. <laughs> <laughs> Rogers <laughs> Corporation. But you know whoever owns Meridian Bank must be worth like hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, the poorest Jew yeah, you could ever us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Artemis clan. No, we all make fun of them. We're like, you poor bastards. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I ask is I found out, I don't know, like maybe four or five years ago mm. that I'm part uh, Sikh or whatever. Mm. I found out like my great... Huh grandfather or something like that he was Sikh but when you go to Guyana they go uh, we don't do that here like you <laughs> just they generalize Hindu like you can just be Hindu oh, right, right? Yeah. what's it like going to Guyana uh, it's cool uh, it's it's cool I'll just go with it. it's cool it's not that safe <laughs> it's like if you're just like a white guy walking around oh, it's not scary, really eh? like even you like as like because they'll know you're not guy you're not that type of brown uh, so they, anybody that doesn't look like them t- are targeted? No, Indiana. but like if you're in like the city or whatever and you're just like walking around at night being like, oh, I want a drink. Like you can't do that. Yeah, That's yeah, not. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. You'll get robbed. 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do like that the shade, it like gets darker as it goes on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, She's color blind. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Look, <laughs> you're gray. <laughs> you're dark gray. <laughs> he is darker. Yeah. I'm darker less. Then he is wow. darker less. Wow. That and then was you're just white. Was, okay. That was um, the dumbest way you could have said that. that. Was so <laughs> Why didn't you go this way? Why the fuck would you do He's that? Darker, <laughs> He's darker. I'm darker less. <laughs> That was fucking retarded. <laughs> <You're> so dumb. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So anybody else watching the Leafs game tonight? <laughs> <laughs> you a big baseball fan, Neil? No more hockey fans. More hockey? This shirt felt a little bit com- more comfortable than be wearing that Modesto nut shirt. You get tired of it, you know? Did you model in front of the mirror before going out? Like, ah, this. You check yourself out, yeah. Sure <laughs> I just wondered. Okay. I just so realized. I wondered if I needed to shave or not. Mm. He's nah, apparently. Nah, man, your letter was gruff. He's apparently yeah. a successful nut man, yeah. but he just explained that he only has two shirts. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got tired of the other one, so I wore the other one. Hey, but you hear about a lot of these uh, rich eccentric types. Yeah, that that's have, true. Like, three are you, outfits. Mm-hmm. Are you accent? Are you rich eccentric? Of course he is. Yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah. What of What he is. is something you do actually spend your money on? Like food. No, 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 no. Non, non like life, like. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, fatso. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, like if you were, if you have like a thrill to whatever, what I do you like spend your money on? Traveling, you know. Travel, okay. Yeah. All right, where you been? Well, I was just in Calgary and Montreal, trying to do comedy there. <laughs> trying. <laughs> yeah. But it's not easy, you know. He's trying yeah. to do comedy here. You get a spot on one small <laughs> show. Big deal. <laughs> he went to the open mics and they were like, not for you, no. Yeah. Oh, no, they love me at the open mics. I, I'm, I'm, I'm Excuse a me. Uh, Kalamata <laughs> Olives, the greatest retailer in the GTA. Check them out. They sell dried fruits go and nuts. Where they Nowhere nuts else from. is a good nut place than Kalamata Olives. Do you Olives. know them personally? What? No, you know they're our sponsor. Um, sorry, go ahead. Are they really your sponsor? Yep. Yeah. I All right. Go what were you saying? Uh, I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try some weed? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. You go. I like that you. S- I asked. You weed, said right? you like to travel, yeah, yeah. and then you you named Montreal yeah. <laughs> and Calgary. Well, it's you've got to cool, go more though. places, dude. You got to get off the beaten track. You gotta find places to discover. You gotta Montreal find Montreal is not a d- off the beaten track, dude. It's I, the strip club capital <laughs> of the world. There's so many people there. I go there once. I a year. had lunch with a wonderful friend while I was in Montreal. No, that's not. I'm sure it was a nice trip. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, I was hoping when you said I go on, and well, I travel. I've also been. To I was Australia. hearing about like Brazil. Yeah, I've been Australia. all those places too, India. <laughs> He's waving them away. <laughs> He's like, I've been to Calgary. Dude, it's a long He's like, don't you want to hear about Calgary? Yeah. No, I want to hear about Australia. Oh, what a bore, but Calgary. Seriously, it's a, it's a more local flight. I don't like those long flights. Which nation has the more beautiful women, in your opinion? Like Norway. I've seen some Norway. Women. The most beautiful girl I know, she's Norwegian, but America has Heidi be Klum? very beautiful women. Mm. The nation of Islam, they've yeah. got the best. <laughs> 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 yeah. the They're all you know covered what? up. Yeah. You, you see some very uh, beautiful so Americans high. traveling around Australia. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> so you went to Australia and you were like, yeah, the Americans, Americans are, are hot. really hot. Yeah, the Australians That's like fucking hilarious. Ugly. I heard, Australians are ugly? No, really? I heard there there a lot of fatness in Australia, like a what? surprising amount. Yeah, in UK yeah. you hear, like they make fun of Americans a lot, but they're there too. I thought Australia See? was like camping and fucking being out and about and shit. Like I thought they I'm were I'm sure the small town active. people, like the sit like Perth, Sydney, some right. fat people. Really? Yeah, yeah. And I hear UK is similar, but I... I UK is full of fatties. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. true. But Iraqi women, holy f! Those women are beautiful. I think I've seen some Iraqi women are pretty fucking ridiculously hot. I was know. that like? And you know that Saddam Aladdin? had them all in his mansions and compounds. Yeah, yeah. He oh, yeah. hogged them all. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Have more for the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cheers everybody for Saddam Hussein cheers. being dead. Yeah. yeah. Iraqi women everywhere. <laughs> That's true, but I mean, sometimes you go like, which are the more the more beautiful of them. Yeah, I was thinking about like the most hottest Asians. I'm not into Asians, but who are the <laughs> hottest group of Asians? I would say Japanese women. 
Korean, probably Korean, <laughs> Filipino. Yeah, they're all about like plastic surgery and shit. If they're not so hot, they look what yeah, they yeah, look if like. they're not hot, they'll fucking get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they look like a blank wall. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> they kabuki their faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Italian terrible. Italian people are always the kindest. I Italians? Really? Oh, I despise. Them. I don't think you, Ita- Italy is not in Asia. <laughs> <laughs> the best Asian. Yeah, Italian. we were talking about the Asian country. Okay, Italian. Italian. I, you been to Italy? No, but no. I have a lot of Italian friends, and they're very kind. They're oh. fucking scumbags. They suck. <laughs> That's what, I have a lot I of Italian friends Italians. as well. Yeah, yeah, I hate but they're fucking this, but dirty yeah, scumbags. Yeah. What's that Italian part? Of, I'm forgetting the name. Wood something. Uh, uh, Woodbridge. Woodbridge. Yeah. Woodbridge. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Woodbridge full of fucking disgusting Italians where you grow up. dumb fuck uh, two places <laughs> <laughs> North York and Rexdale okay so Toronto always so Toronto so you live in North York now? Uh, no now I live in East York like right oh, I live okay. up the street from here cool yeah 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 um, yeah no Italians terrible people the worst um, I I, lo- I really like some of them, but I think that's in spite of what their people <laughs> are to me. I learned recently that the Italians helped the Nazis back <laughs> back <laughs> during World War II. You failed a lot of classes, didn't you? I didn't know that. Did you guys hear about this movie? I had no, cl- guy? Dude, I had no <laughs> clue. <laughs> I had no clue until I heard that. I'm just like, then why isn't everybody on Italians' asses like like they are yeah, no, with Germans? They buried or it. Japan buried it too, man. Nobody. Yeah. Think, they're just like, yeah. oh, Kawhi. But no, they're fucking. The Japanese did some bad shit. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. repulsive. It is bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they're sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's so hot. Being evil and hot. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're a, an attractive race. Italian women are hot. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. No, you didn't like that girl in Godfather. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That girl, she was hot. I don't remember that. Oh, that was a good part. Yeah, no, um, but you were saying evil women are hot women. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It, it's, it's because... I think just all women want to destroy me anyways. So I'm just like, as long as you're attractive... It's because... <laughs> it makes it better. I love that you're taking the blame away from you. <laughs> <laughs> like all these fucking women. It's not even me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's definitely not you, the alcoholic narcissist. <laughs> 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 There's it's your true. book name, by the way. Alcohol <laughs> narcissist. <laughs> I heard an explanation of nar- narcissism the other day. Like, obviously, we can look it up, but someone was explaining it, and I'm yeah. like, oh, that is Lee. <laughs> it's so Lee. It was something like even a narcissist doesn't recognize when I, you have issues. I just have a uh, super confidence where I'm just like, Eh, you know, I'm better than you, and I'm you too, and, and there's no reason for it. That's fine if it's backed up by anything. That's You've my done point. Yeah, yeah. I've done nothing. There's yeah. no reason why I should have it. I just <laughs> have it. This <laughs> noodle legged loser is yeah. like, I'm the coolest guy ever. <laughs> I'm fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you and you. I, I, I can't describe it, but it is fun. And you know what? It's got me hired. <laughs> it's got me like. You mean high, high, yeah. er. <laughs> higher, higher. <laughs> <laughs> this this fucking psychopath well, proclaims as a positive. He's like, hey, and everyone, by the way, back on coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it was like you know, and I get it. Do your thing, dude. I told my I, my brother was in town recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just blurted out that I was that oh yeah, I do drugs like coke and shit. And, and he was just like kind of concerned. And then I was talking to my mom recently, yeah, yeah, yeah. and she goes like. You know, I heard some things or whatever oh, recently, and I'm like, "Oh, he narked uh, on me." And I'm like, "Ma, I do drugs, but I'm just like, I'm careful with them. I'm old enough. I know what I'm doing." And she's like, "Drugs? I haven't talked to your brother in a while." <laughs> 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 so I just narked on myself. <laughs> yeah, your mom's just like. I just, you look like a cockhead. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> to me. <laughs> well, I saw Artemis yesterday. Yeah. We ran yeah. into each other, and uh, she told me. That I was looking better because yeah. back when she would see me more frequent, yeah. I was 20 pounds less and I was a nutbag <laughs> just because I was going everywhere just high on coke all the time. Yeah, you were insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think, look, I, I don't tell you what to do. I think the dial back was necessary for yeah. a bit. Uh, yeah, you needed your break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was also, because you were like, I was like, okay, but how much coke were you doing back in the day? And you're like, a couple times a week, which means you were doing it like seven <laughs> times a week. <laughs> 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 That's so fact, though. Yeah. <laughs> you were doing it every day, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Why is Neil getting sad? Are Neil you worried about Lee? Sad. Is that why? No, because I've drank and smoked too much. <laughs> 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 it just hits you. A couple drinks. <laughs> no, it's no well, we don't know. He was. Oh, like all day. Okay. Yeah, I, I smoke see. all day. 
I swear, because I have the headphones, some things come up in a different way. Like, it, you'll hear it. It sounded like he says, no, it's opium. It's opium. <laughs> <laughs> like, on the no, like, like, that's what everyone heard. I know that's not what you said. But been, I've almost finished my second beer. And Damn. I eat all day. So. To be fair, also, oh, don't wow. forget, he's a smaller. Two beers is. Uh, How t- am I taller really than you? I, I smoke a lot of I, I drink a lot. Like, I can't, I what, what do you think will get you drunk? How many beers, if you had to guess? Seven. Seven. Seven's Se- a good number. That's a, it's a, a good lot. number. Are you talking about drunk? Seven's dr- like, yeah, hammered. Drunk or buzzed? No, no drunk. hammered. Drunk. Hammered? hammered? At yeah. Seven? Point, that hammed up? Yeah. yeah. Uh, six beers. Uh, for me, six beers, I'm just like, no one's going to be buzzed after feeling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Are my, that's my six foot three hockey player friends. After seven beers, it doesn't do anything. Oh, okay, okay but you're saying, yeah. <laughs> but still. After me, that finishes. Se- seven's not a pussy amount, though. No. Yeah, yeah. What do you think is a uh, like, like, like a pussy about to get you drunk? Like three beers, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I'm at that. I think I'm at like three or four. Th- and that fucks you up. Yeah, that fucks me up. I've had. It's been very embarrassing. I was at tonight bar the other night, and I drank uh, like a cooler, and I was fucking. My face was like red, and I was sweating. <laughs> <laughs> like one thing, I was like, oh Jesus. Oh, oh so you react badly on on booze? Yeah, I don't know. I, I almost like. I think I'm like allergic to it. Or yeah, something. if your face goes red, I think yeah, you're. Yeah, I have like the Asian flush. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. don't have the cool eyes, you know. But <laughs> disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's lame because you're also. You said you're part Scottish. Yeah. Yeah, there's supposed to be a history I know, of I'm drinking. To, in I know. U- it's cr- like I used to be when I was. I started drinking when I was a kid, and mm. then I could fucking like drain a whole thing of smear off like a bottle when yeah, I was yeah. a teenager, and I was fine the next day. But uh, as I've gotten older, yeah, I've become <laughs> responsible, so I can't. And I, it left me the ability. Maybe now your body knows you're Jewish, so maybe you're just drinking the wrong stuff. I swear to God that happened. I became neurotic. As soon <laughs> as I, I was scared of nothing as a goy, and then as soon as I found out, I was like, I'm scared of heights. I have health issues. <laughs> What's the Jewish one? Uh, Shiraz? Manischewitz. Manischewitz. Shiraz? <laughs> You're the worst. I don't know how you drink it's this much Shiraz, and know this little. Know <laughs> it's just Shiraz. a regular wine, you fuckface. <laughs> a Shiraz. 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 <laughs> That's probably the right pronunciation. But it is. Uh, Shiraz. <laughs> What's that Jewish wine? Uh, Moscato? Yeah, yeah. You know Grigio? That I was going to say Zivietz, <laughs> which is <laughs> Polish beer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Which it's is good beer. Good. It's good shit. That's yeah, fucking yeah. good beer. Eastern European beer is good beer. I mean, yeah, I think the, re- the Europeans got it pretty good, but I like dirty, gross American beer. Yeah. I don't see. I that's love it. Dude. Uh, yes. I love Pilsners. What I love Budweiser. I love all the bullshit. No. <laughs> as soon as the tranny got on it, he was like, I fucking love Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like a Canadian beer. Canadian yeah. beers are good. That's a better. What's the, for like the Polish and shit, are they lagers or Pilsners? Like what kind of beer is it? I think they're lagers. Yeah, they're lagers. Yeah, they're lagers. Yeah. yeah, another one of these. <laughs> you know, I didn't even you start. down? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I just got this guy. Oh, you're yeah, high yeah. maintenance. Yeah, I know. What no, I'm, I'm good. I still got some left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quit being a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like he's going to go to get a beer and never come back. <laughs> 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 he just walks out into the street. <laughs> he, he accidentally takes a sip out of the beer he roofied. <laughs> <laughs> he just passes out. That's what happened. <laughs> he gave her the he wrong drink. So he's passing he out. He roofied himself. <laughs> Well, when he was like, do you want to hit off this? I thought it was just like a normal vape. I didn't yeah. realize it was weed. No, it was, it was a slight yeah. woof. Routine. I was right about Like three times he's offered it to me. I'm about to, and I keep remembering it's Neil's, and I don't want to put my lips oh. on it. That's <laughs> what, yeah, that's <laughs> do, you th- do you think the tip is salty because of all the nuts he's always eating? <laughs> just handling? <laughs> he's just, his lips are salty. Everything is salty. Everything is salty on yeah. this man. Yeah. That does, if he just disappears forever, that is a great mystery. The mystery of the nut man. Like, that sounds good, yeah. Then I would write that novel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to (laughs) lie. It's sell three copies. The appearance of the nut man. (laughs) (laughs) The disappearance of the nut man. I always have these different, like, ideas of, like, shit I want to do outside of comedy. Like, like, you know, you talk about doing sketches and stuff. And my latest, like, thing I'm obsessed with is doing strange documentaries about characters in Toronto. Yeah. And Neil would be, like, that that would be a great one. Uh, Perfect. Uh, It'd be an episode, though. That'd be great. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, half an hour. Like, no, I'm not giving like an episode. Yeah. Christian's f- been trying to do one on Brovidani for, like, two years. Oh. That'd be a fucking great one. That's That's, that's great. a great one. Brovidani s- is losing his edge. What? You see, you see his he bullshit? Is. Like, where he's just like, here, I'm going to highlight these comedians. Like, uh, here's who I think is great. And then he puts it up, and you're like, who gives a fuck, number one, what Brovidani thinks of any comedian? 
He's a fucking nobody. He's a psychopathic so loser who I love. What is your beef with Brovo? He's the sweetest the, guy. I don't have a single beef with Brovo. He I love like Brovo. <laughs> I don't I don't dislike I love Brovo. I yeah, love yeah, yeah. him, but I don't give but a fuck I, what he I, but says. I, but I see what he's saying. I'm like, shut the fuck Are up. Are you just like, mad because he didn't put you on the fucking reel that he liked you? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea how nail on the head. Lee is the fucking pettiest person I've ever <laughs> met in my life. And you don't think about it? He dislikes people for things like that. And he, he doesn't tell you that's why. He doesn't understand that's sir. why he dislikes them, which is my favorite. No. <laughs> like, I hate this person. I don't know why, but fuck he doesn't him. Know you're what, like, yeah. this is why. <laughs> but it's always after. There's been so many times on a podcast, he'll come in and he'll just lambast some comedian. He just fucking hates <laughs> yeah, them yeah, now. Yeah. And that, but it's always some slight that even he doesn't remember. Yeah. He's like the fucking Bloods and the Crips. He doesn't remember how it started. Yeah. Like, like, why do you hate like, this person? What? what? I, will, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you just go with it. They're like, I, I hated him for. And I'm gonna keep hating them. This is a very Jewish trait you have. Yes. I have that as well. Someone was performing the other night who I hate, and I like stony faced in front. I was like in the front. You and didn't want to like, laugh. Fuck yeah. you. Like, and they no. were saying funny things. So I was like, no. I'm not giving it to you. And they kind of bombed, and I was like, oh god, this feels so. Good. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, that does feel good. They that's don't nice. know my name. They don't know who that, I am. That's so fucking. Oh, so you hate someone who you have no. No, Why they, do you hate so them? they did a thing to me. They like big dogged me when I first started. Oh, okay. So okay, I was okay, on okay. a thing. This is a woman, isn't it? No, it wasn't a woman. What? Uh, no. no. But uh, I, I was on a thing that they were like <laughs> hosting and producing or something. <laughs> And they didn't know my name. <laughs> and, this uh, is interesting. I went over to just introduce myself, and they were like, hey, I'm fucking busy right now. Uh, and they were just standing there. Like, they weren't doing anything. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I was like, what the f-? They were just very rude. Who is this cunt? I'm not fucking saying anything. <laughs> let's, let's, no, I'm keeping call my out. mouth shut. I'll to to all them. three listeners, I'm keeping <laughs> my mouth shut. <laughs> no, our, our show does have, like, little narcs. Yeah, like, no, There are people who listen to it, and then whoever we talk shit about, apparently they report it to them. Hilarious. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> why would also? Why would that person care? Because yeah. they must have assumed Lee does not like them. Because that person who's narking thinks that they're gonna get like. No, no, no. I mean, nice the person we're from, ta- talking yeah. shit about is gonna care. Why would they care? Nobody yeah. cares about. It's this not podcast. even about that person. It's about the little narc who thinks that. Hey, did you hear what they said about you? And like, that I don't is care. Annoying. That's obnoxious. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> whatever it is that everybody's trying to get their foot in somehow. Yeah. yeah. And I think like. When like, hey, did you did you hear about what this person said about you? They think that that's like uh, enough to like probably start getting some spots or like yeah, this yeah, yeah. person's good graces or whatever. And realistically, you're just a loser for <laughs> listening to our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're listening to this podcast you're right gay. now, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> you're fucking you're, gay. You have nothing going on in your life, and <laughs> you failed. <laughs> cheers, Neil. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheers yes, yeah. cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheers. <laughs> He's so mellowed out. <laughs> Neil no, roofied cool. himself. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> Is the micro- I didn't realize the microphone was down. <laughs> He's oh shit! <laughs> I swear he thinks he's talking to his <laughs> microphone now. He's Hello. talking into he's talking into his vape. <laughs> You're so I made this. <laughs> I'm so I made this. Wait, no, that's the title. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I made this. Oh god! You get it? <laughs> I'm not even mad. It is funny. <laughs> what? He just kind of dozed. <laughs> uh, oh oh my god, man! Do you? Uh. Do you get like this a lot? Like, is it easy, <laughs> you know? Do you mix a lot, or do you usually just stick to one? What do you mean? Weed and, weed and uh, no, alcohol. I, I smoke the dope, I get my throat nice and dry, yeah. and then I drink all the beer. Okay, so you do mix, usually. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with mixing. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look and at him. Uh, before you post this, I need don't. to blank out all my family members. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Why are you dressed like a cowboy? <laughs> I said that when I got him. <laughs> and he was like, this is my nice oh, sorry. shirt. Fuck up. This is my <laughs> sorry. Why, <laughs> no, why are you dressed response. like an hombre? <laughs> listen to her response. <laughs> All right. What did I say? I don't remember what I said. You just <laughs> said it. Oh. Yeah, he was like, this is my nice shirt. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice. You look like a lesbian. <laughs> 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 what is that? It's 
that's so. Why? Where did you get him? Like Goodwill? Or you the, biggest, like you, the biggest dyke just called me a lesbian. Yeah, that's I how know. you know you are one. So <laughs> eat my fucking pussy. It like. does look like Sarah Donaldson bore, led yeah. you that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Sarah Donaldson. Oh, by the way, I, I was uh, I was hanging out with Sarah a little bit. Uh, what was it last night or the night before or whatever? She <laughs> she brought up a good point about you. Uh, <laughs> she said you're a loser. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> Sarah, you no, promise. It's not just Sarah. <laughs> she said she described she she explained something that Lee does that was so fucking stupid when you really think about it and I know you do this. She goes she's like uh we were hanging we're at a comedy show or whatever and then she's like yeah and then she's like ah Lee I, you know we were talking about we wish Lee would come out more and then I'm like but Lee doesn't come out like even if there's an opportunity for him to come out he doesn't and then she goes yeah Lee only goes to shows that he's banned from <laughs> shows he can go to he doesn't show up and then he invites me to shows he's banned at <laughs> Holy that shit. is true. Lee got banned from the Royal for a bit. <laughs> he and did. Then he I would just that. stand outside. Of it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she, I was she, talking to you when, when I got banned. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said you invited her out one night, yeah. and it was at the comedy bar. <laughs> and then she and said, "Aren't you? Aren't you banned there?" And you go, "No, it's fine." <laughs> and then you, she showed up, and you were outside, and he's like, "Oh, I can't get in. Uh, we'll find another bar." <laughs> It's like an underage kid with a bad fake ID. Yeah. <laughs> I don't pass. <laughs> did you wait? So Mohammed you, Wang <laughs> is trying to get in. Mohammed <laughs> Wang can get in. Did you and your roommate both get banned oh. from comedy bar? Uh, I. What did you do? I got into a fight with uh, the what? the bar people, and I started heckling comedians to the point where the next day I woke up to a Facebook message from Liam Andres or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just like, you might as well move, man. Like, so he said something like that. And all I wrote back, fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> so Liam, if you're, if you're watching, <laughs> fuck you too. Well, was he just giving you like a heads up? Like, you might as well move. No, he said something that seemed cunty to me. So I just wrote back, fuck you too. And I was all hung over. How did he respond to that? He just it's just left on scene. Uh, <laughs> he didn't respond back. He never even looked at it. No, like he saw it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I walked past him uh, at the back room like weeks ago, and we just looked at each other and did the uh, yeah, like yeah, fucking yeah. face. Huh? Yeah, because he might <laughs> he might have been joking with you. Because I could imagine me texting you that like you might as well move. Yeah. No, you, you yeah, are banned from almost I everywhere. Might have, I might have heckled him. Oh, uh, so true. That was your <laughs> thing at Comedy Bar when I met you. Heckling people? That's his yeah. thing at everything. <laughs> 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 I remember when we first started like becoming friends, and I went to a, like, a mic or something, and I just saw him heckling, and I was like, who is this person? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with Who's you? Who's this cunt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're the one who big dogged her? Yeah, She's yeah, just yeah, not yeah, telling yeah, you? It's him. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. busy. <laughs> Anytime he fails, I'm like, yes. <laughs> Have you ever been heckled, Neil? You get to say yes a lot. Oh, yeah. At Royal Comedy Club, you guys... Oh, we heckled they you? Were not you. I wasn't there. But the audience is nasty. Well, well no, but was nasty. You, start, you started doing the casting couch, right? So isn't that part of it? Oh. It might have been. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> That's the whole it point is. of the show. It is. But if you did yeah, the Monday night and you were being heckled. <laughs> the people on the couch on the stage yeah, are like, yeah. they're fucking heckling me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was I, what gives? It was really yeah. I did see that. Uh, I would consider a friend of mine had a funny night at uh, remember the danger room back in the day with Dan Guyry? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Anthony Engelbrecht was there but like I guess he just heard oh there's a show whatever he shows up and he starts performing and they're heckling him and then he starts going at the people doing what well, he's doing fu- he's being funny but he's going at them and then he's like why the fuck do you keep talking and then Danny goes it's a heckle show it's a heckle show and I'm not gonna I'll give him the credit Anthony just goes oh I didn't know that <laughs> All right, and then he just finished his set. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God. But yeah, the casting couch was kind of, that's what it was. <laughs> All <laughs> of <laughs> the <expensive> <laughs> sound, <laughs> sound equipment. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> no, no, I was oh. heckled by the audience. Fucking like Dolly Parton over here. These <laughs> are, I'm like, hey. I, want, I, I have gifts for people. You have gifts. All right. I have a business host selling dried <laughs> fruits and nuts. Oh, speaking Why of which, Kalamata Olives and Dried yeah. Fruits, the best wholesaler of nuts and, and dried <laughs> fruits. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Oh. I looked at your Instagram once and I was like, 
Lee right. is r- really good yes. at being an attractive person who hides it so well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to remember to put this on my phone. Look, yeah, I, I, I give these stickers out to people so that wh- wherever they put them, just send me a picture where you put it. It's for Instagram. Advice for woman <laughs> on your pussy, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's always on the pussy. <laughs> That'd be great. We're going to stick to a battered woman shelter. <laughs> <laughs> Just so they know. <laughs> Leave his phone number, too. Stay away from him. <laughs> Are you ready to go back? But Here's his contact. New? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Welcome to the dating world, bitch. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, Neil, where can they get your book if they want to get your book? It's available online in his Lulu. bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> and you can order it online. Say, say it again. Or you can send me a message and I can set you up to get a book. So, but say the website again? Lulu. L U L U dot com. L U L U dot com. Why Lulu? Um, I was suggested to use that website to <laughs> oh. publish my book. You say it's a it's a a, a retailer. Can of we look uh, up Lulu dot com? Right <laughs> yeah. By the fine people at <laughs> oh. You don't think Adventures. that's confusing because of Lululemon, the like massive I, corporation? <laughs> my niece is sponsored by Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> is she? Uh-oh. I'm gonna tell her to send you a cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet she is sponsored by Lululemon. Oh, quite <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's Lulu? Lulu.com. Lulu.com. <laughs> it would be really funny. He's fucking with us, and we both get viruses <laughs> on our phone. It's child porn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's I go, L-U-L-U? I would have never expected that from Neil. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why yeah. they call me Neil? Why? <laughs> I had a psoriasis on my knee. Oh, God. And yeah. the doctor's like, do you find yourself kneeling a lot? And I was like, that's why they call me Neil. Oh, God. You and Bravadani should have a competition over who has the worst life. <laughs> that's not your website, dude. You no, it's, be really it's not his website. <laughs> yeah, 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 they yeah. just print things. No, I guess I look, oh. like, I look around face. People think I'm nice. It's not true. Because <laughs> your face is around? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know this, but apparently when she turned 25, what, yeah. what did I say to you? you? This wasn't a one-time thing. Every time you saw me, I'd be like, hey, Lee, and you'd be like, you're old now, you're fat, <laughs> <laughs> you're over the hill <laughs> time. You're all dried up inside. You're useless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me a beer. Every time. <laughs> fucking Another one? <laughs> no. I was talking I to this piece this of shit. I haven't one yet. Uh, have should have just said yes. Yet? I should have. He would have done it. He's he's suggestive enough right now because of his roofie that he you could get <laughs> another beer roofie. out of him. <laughs> yeah. we, I would get him a beer. I'd get you a beer. I'd oh, you a I'm beer. Good. That's very nice. You're 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 Just very nice. nice. You guys are nice people. Why wouldn't I get you a beer? You just told me mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in a nice way. <laughs> if you want to get a beer, you can get a beer. Tell them to look, my tab. Thank you. Look at the fucking Terminator. <laughs> 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 oh, fucking. <laughs> I hope you I find you. Sarah Connor. <laughs> you guys are really great. Oh my God, he knows who you live. He turned around. He turned around. <laughs> 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 this th- I changed my mind. We need two cameras, but one pointing that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be a great idea. I yeah. Like, yeah, it's a heckle show, but we're heckling, heckling people. <laughs> <laughs> we did not consent. Pedestrians, to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And every episode ends with me Lee getting assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> Being choked I'd up watch against that the wall. podcast. A hundred percent. Oh, it's a great idea. If I got insulted, I would rewatch that episode. Yeah, that's fun. I mean, that's what uh, people love violence. Of course. Like, 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 think about the old Roman days when tigers or lions would, like, kill gladiators. Yeah, we yeah. just love that shit. Right? Yeah, yeah. We love, like, seeing fights. Everybody loves it. It's, like, you want to think that you don't or whatever, but everybody loves watching a fight. Even when you don't, you're like, I hate this so much, but I still have to look at it. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Th- that's a part of, like, you're, you're interested. You An- want to see the, you want to see the gore. An entire website, World Star Hip Hop, <laughs> made its bones off of just watching fights. I'm gonna pick a page and you read from it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. No, you should have picked the last page. I'd rather read the end. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Neil just leaned in and whispered. So I'm trying to hit on you. <laughs> 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 no, I didn't. Uh, Neil has no shape. <laughs> 
<laughs> Neil, you suck. <laughs> trying to <laughs> you, no, no, man, you, that's you, a great you, line. I'm, I'm, you fucking did. That rules, Neil. Okay. That's if, I'm my shit. Hero. if I'm ever single again, I'm using that I'm line. I'm trying now. to hit yeah. on you. You've got to use that. that rules. I'm, I'm trying to hit on you. I'm trying to hit on you. other people are around and you whisper it. That rules, dude. I don't. Yeah. Gives me a... Do you have a charger? I can charge you. <laughs> <laughs> Plug it they to your dick. Inside, dude. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing that's gonna charge that shit like better than that. Your Plug it to your dick. dick. <laughs> it's the Very same high size. Hi, <laughs> we are highbrow. Uh, I was never good at sports or school. But I always found a family business to be fair. <laughs> yeah, we put in little liner notes. <laughs> or comedy. You can, this is no, the more expensive copy annotated. <laughs> Angelo likes to tell me everything I've done wrong with Dude. my life. If and we started adding our own negative notes, yeah, this yeah. book would be 600 pages. Angel, that's all those notes. That's how I explain all those notes. <laughs> okay, Holy shit. Um, I always found our family business to be very interesting. My father started a business importing dried fruits and nuts to Canada after he arrived here as an immigrant to give a better life to his children. My father always said he could have bought a new BMW, but instead he sent me to private school to see me succeed. <laughs> and look where he is oh, now. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, God, that's that's so over. sad. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Sorry, I did ruin the. He does. He ends it with. At this point, I think it's safe to say he should have got the BMW. Mm. Oh, oh. but um, do you that's, think it's funny that good. your immigrant father came here and was like nuts? That's how we'll make the money for my family. It's not bad, man. Hey, wherever you can, you do. Yeah, oh, you're not even. You're not even. What uh, do your parents do? Uh, my dad was a firefighter, oh, that's and cool. my mom was a drama teacher. Oh, I don't know too many Jewish yeah. firefighters. He's not Jewish. My mom's Jewish. He's actually kind of an anti-Semite. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> yeah, that may have also been why I didn't know I was Jewish. <laughs> do you have my charger for this? No, I don't. I can, like, smoke more and drink Can more. we do that here? Go in, uh, inside. No, no, because that, that's yeah, what's keeping this on. We can yeah, give it to yeah, No, we'll have a charger oh, there, after. probably. Yeah. Who's going to hold my microphone? I can hold she it will. for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold I it mean, for the you. Chair, I mean, the chair will hold his microphone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can put it down almost immediately. this. <laughs> He's such an interesting person. <laughs> I, yeah, I kind of love him. He's kind of great. He's the great. best. Did he really? Yeah. He's the best. Did he really say yeah, he did yeah? this for that. He said, I'm trying to hit on you. Yeah. That's yeah. very funny. That's <laughs> very <laughs> funny. Okay. Tell the truth. Like, he's not around. Is there any possibility you can imagine? If I was unconscious? <laughs> <laughs> if I was... If I could not consent, then yeah. <laughs> but you think, I don't think he could like kidnap me or anything. Or no, no, I think he has beat no the power. Fuck out of him. Yeah, yeah, you definitely would. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, he's no. little, you know, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just let him rape you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just let him. <laughs> he's so cute. That's my good deed for the day. <laughs> <laughs> she's being raped, and she's like, "Aw, <laughs> <laughs> you go get it." Happy oh, to yeah. help. <laughs> Pick up the mic. I'm gonna go piss. Okay. All right. Yeah. I gotta tell you, yeah. There's no better feeling, uh huh, than s- sitting next to a your beautiful throat, woman, right? <laughs> your throat is all dry from smoking dope. Yeah, yeah. And then you burp up a beer. I love that you still call it <laughs> dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have it's like a piece of from the fucking say. <laughs> He's like the bad guy in a Power yeah, Rangers yeah, yeah, yeah. commercial. You smoking that dope, dope. kid? <laughs> no, yes. Yeah, so just uh, getting down that dry mouth, that cotton mouth, with a with a nice brew, eh? Yeah, yeah. And then, you know what? Maybe your nose is a little dry. A little hey, coke up in that nose. Who wants another drink? What? Who wants another drink? <laughs> I'm good, my my good man. But Neil is going to be dragged out. Oh, God. I, th- I think you can take a drink. I think we, like, if you want one. I, I think, I don't, I guess this is, but yeah, I'm drinking Rattlers. <laughs> I want you to have another one in honor All of right. the Toronto Blue Jays. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And I, I got to tell you, I made a killing today in the stock market. You made a killing? Oh, nice. Oh. Thousands of dollars. Oh. That, wow. All right. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. I, I'd be glad to learn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. You should, you should <laughs> get her number that, after. And then she <laughs> he said it to me. <laughs> 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 all right, well, I'm glad all the okay, people so that we mutually know left. <laughs> <laughs> <That's just laughs> yeah, now we're just left with us. No, yeah. but okay. So now you know he has a few thousand dollars. Now does he have a chance with you? I what mean, if his hair was he, was proper? He has a better chance of raping me. <laughs> 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 that I could buy more roofies. 
uh, he's such an interesting guy. I know you know how we met him is uh, Matt Baxter just brought him to the podcast That's one day. Totally, a hundred percent tracks. He did he did the casting couch and he thought, well, this guy is a very interesting guy. Let's have <laughs> yeah. him on. And then we had him on, and I think we asked him a few things about nuts, and he didn't really want to talk about <laughs> nuts. <laughs> His name is the Nut Man. He's like, he's that's private. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just doesn't like. He said it when when he got here. He wasn't wearing the nut shirt, and he's like, ah, it's just getting a little old or whatever. Which is a sad thing if you like like comedy and yeah. someone has a gimmick, and then you can see them kind that's of depra- yeah getting tired of it. What's his new gimmick? He's gonna be the dried fruit man now. <laughs> 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 he's, he's, he figures out some team is called yeah, the yeah, dried yeah, fruits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How long God. you been doing comedy? Uh, I think it's been like seven or eight months now. Oh, so it's still I'm still fairly new, but I've been doing like when I was a kid, I wrote plays. They were all comedy and stuff. So like I've always been. I yeah, wrote yeah, sketches yeah. when I was young. Like so were you working at? Uh, oh, hold on, you go around me. Were you working at the Royal before you started comedy? Yeah. So that was oh. a sneaky thing I did. So Rob, like I was very good friends with Rob. We worked yeah. together at another at another job, uh, and he was like, "Hey, come try and bartend here and yeah, maybe yeah, help yeah. it out a bit." And I was like, yeah, well, I want to get into stand-up, so I'm I'm bad around new people, so I was like, okay, if I have connections going in, I'll feel better right, right, right. doing it, you know what I mean? No, I get that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. But you wanted you wanted to do stand-up the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I wanted to do stand-up since I was like eight. That's when I started watching stand-up comedy. I'm like, curious. I started off with you like know, Chappelle, like when I said Louis. I saw her for the first time, I thought she was a cunt? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what her first impression of me was. She thought you oh, were I, th- a cunt. I thought you were a drunk, alcoholic piece of shit. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, 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 You're Mexican. Yeah. It fucking uh, shows on your face. <laughs> <laughs> it I shows it. on your yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, never mind. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know really funny about that? <laughs> you changed her opinion of, y- of her. Mm-hmm. She I'm assuming you feel the same <laughs> way. I actually feel stronger about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only thing that changed you're like, he's not Mexican. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I think he's question. Salvadorian. Guatemalan or he's some Guatemala. shit. He's Guatemalan. Guatemalan. <laughs> yes, ask so, her a question. You met me tonight for your first time. Yeah. Yeah. And what was your first And how wet are you? Me? Yeah. On a scale of... of no. Already very Let's wet oh, yeah. baby, to I'm the I'm most wet I've ever been. What an impression was you of? She's Cytheria wet. Move on. Neil's mm. great. He's little. I could just <laughs> shove him right fan. up in there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're slimy. There's, There's enough, enough room. <laughs> you know what's crazy about <laughs> Neil? <laughs> <laughs> he likes dried things, but he makes women so wet. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about that, Neil? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but my, my impression of you, Neil, you seem lovely. You seem like lo- I thought he was sucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's playing the kazoo. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do me a favor, Artemis? No. Give, me, give me your main finger. What? What is it? What's up I'll with this crusty shit? I, uh, I do. I, I'm anxious. I pick my fingers. It's so like gross. It's like an anxiety thing. I know it's Can gross. Can you point it off already? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the way, I will admit this now that we're towards... Yeah, we're at the end of the podcast. Okay. I I had heard uh, like the, oh he knows someone named Artemis. Oh, I was hanging right. out with Artemis. Just vague stories of like oh I was hanging out with Artemis or whatever. I thought it was this other girl who I fucking hated. <laughs> 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 I didn't hate her, Wait, but who, she did was. You know who it is? I I would have you to now see because now. now I don't know who that. No, I now that she yeah, showed tell, up and she's Ar- after, Artemis. Tell us after. No, we, I would we would have to see her again. I know she used to be around the royal, right? And she just fucking was so weird. I remember I she think sat. I know. Was about? it Anna? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Anna didn't know that the royal closed down. Yeah, th- I told and you she, that. Yeah, she I told me. You. So it's like she shows up and she's like <laughs> knocking on the window, going like, "Hey, you owe me sixteen weeks for the back pay." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just showed up and just closed. <laughs> just Matt never paid anybody. Matt actually yeah. texted me recently. Today, that fucker still has like a ton of my bar shit. I like brought because I was invested in that bar. Yeah, and I'm a good bartender. I brought like. A hundred dollars <laughs> worth of good shit to that. Yeah, bar. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what it's I got. Sure gone. <laughs> this is what I got from Thank Matt today. Guys. He just writes the word "fag," and then I go, "Who wants to know?" And oh, then yeah, he yeah. writes, "Thank." No, no, I'm alright. Then Matt writes back, "I feel like your ass is surprisingly hairless," and then I respond, "Yes, much like the top of your head." <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice how the waitress physically attracted when you said? <laughs> is he losing his hair? 
He's always been losing his hair. Yeah, but that's yeah. super funny because mm-hmm. he once said I was making fun of him, and he's like, "Well, I'd rather be a ginger than bald." And I go, well, "Really? He's a bald he's ginger? He's a bald ginger now? <laughs> <laughs> what a failure!" <laughs> well, he just came back from India. I'm assuming that's why he's texting me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think he's in the city. Okay. He's a crazy <laughs> bastard. You should hang out that with him. That is fucking crazy. Let's hang out with him. No, he doesn't like me. He called me an uppity bitch once. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Hol- that's just funny. It's <laughs> she it's such a like miss uppity. She just you're yeah. cunty. You're not uppity. I don't know. Well, it was because I like actually cared about the bar because I'm like a bartender and yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah, he didn't like and anyone he, who tried yeah. to improve who tried the bar. To improve <laughs> the bar. I, yeah. I literally. So he came back and we like did a bunch of things to try to improve and everything. And I was like, I have these menus and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was like, We're scrapping all of that, <laughs> even though you have eight years of experience <laughs> in our mixologist. We're serving my cocktail, <laughs> which is which is blue Gatorade and vodka. Yeah, that's his. <laughs> I was like, Fuck you, Matt. Matt's an ass. Yeah. You know, the He's only thing ass. I'll say, I never forgave him for <laughs> is he had a certain quality of chicken tenders at some point and then I showed up and asked for some yeah. and this fucking motherfucker 100% sold me Jane's chicken fingers yeah. <laughs> I love it when like at the Royal people order a pizza yeah, yeah, and yeah. they would go right next door to the two for a pizza <laughs> did they used to do that? yeah oh, and then so they come funny, back bro. and they're like hey we're all out of we're, we're out of pepperoni <laughs> It's like, no, two oh. for ones out of pepperoni. That's so funny, dude. It's the funny, it was the funniest club ever. Yeah. I do like any... What did I miss, guys? <laughs> we were just saying goodbye. Came back with no drinks. <laughs> just, dude, he asked her again, do you want a drink? What? <laughs> you don't remember? Neil's a force of nature. He cannot You're be a the bartender with a roofie. Yeah. <laughs> You're a great man, Neil. Yes. Yeah. Does that mean I have to go F myself? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the five. You know what? I wish there yeah. was a camera just on him because he just went like this. <laughs> All right, a nice smile. You have a very kind smile. You know that? Because I'm wasted. <laughs> <laughs> What's? I'm so stoned. I'm so wasted. We're actually at one hour. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha!